Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Tesco's car park in Hexham, up in Northumberland. The reason I've come here is because I'm taking part in the IFA's road run around Northumberland, Time Valley. As you can see, we have some Wartburgs, some Skodas, some Trabants, my larder, and a couple of other larders around the corner. Um, I'm doing a separate video on the road run, so if you have a look at the link on screen now, you'll be able to see that, where we're taking all these Eastern Block cars around the area. This video, I'm going to explore Hexham because I've never been here before. I've passed through on a train in the past, but I've never actually explored the town. So there's my Larder Riva estate, and there's the, the older style of Larder. There is another Larder somewhere in the car park, but as I said, if you want to see the cars um, on this road run, then do look at um, that separate video. I'm now going to go and explore Hexham. So, as I said, we're in Tesco's car park, um, beginning my explore of Hexham. And across the road, just here, over there, is Waitrose. It's the most northerly Waitrose in England. Not the most northerly Waitrose in Great Britain. That accolade goes to Stirling. But this is the most northerly Waitrose in England. So, um, I've decided I'm going to go in there and buy a sandwich, just so I can say I have been to the most Northerly Waitrose in England. And then when I've done that, just behind that Waitrose is the railway station. So I'm going to go and get lunch and explore Hex. Just bought my sandwich for lunch, coming out of Waitrose now. So I'm going to go and find the railway station. And uh, it doesn't look like it's that way, so I've got to pre-walk all the way around there, go to Hexham Railway Station. Be a winning station for me, tick the station off, might see a train. Then we're going to go up there because there's an abbey up there to have a look at. So here we are, Hexham Railway Station on the Tyne Valley Line. It's a very scenic railway and it's worth doing. Trains today in that direction are only going as far as Holt Whistle. Normally the train would go all the way through to Carlisle, but there's engineering work taking place. Um, and then that way will take you to Newcastle. I think it's a really attractive station. And uh, what we're going to do quickly is go up onto the road. It might be a bit windy because um, there's something quite interesting just up the track which I should be able to show you. We go up onto the bridge. You can see the signal box just up there. Now that signal box is unusual because very few signal boxes raised above the track survive. I think there's this one. There's also one, I think, crude hole on this line. And there's one somewhere else, but I can't think where. I might think later on. But signal boxes straddling the track on Britain's railways today are a very rare thing. Just notice down there though, this bridge, it looks as though going by that line there, it was once covered over, it was an enclosed bridge. So my plan now is I'm going to head over there, that building with the mansard roof, that's the station in, walk over there, follow the path up behind the sports ground, up to the town centre and we'll have a look at Hexham Abbey and see the town centre. Then I've got to go back to Tesco's car park, get in the larder and um, we're going to drive off in that direction with the IFA club. So, Hexham railway station. So the railway station is over there. Just over there, that majestic wine shop, that is the old goods shed. Here is the sports ground. I'm going to follow this path here, it's called Hello Orchard and it will take us Along beside the sports ground, that's the station in I said about earlier. We're going to head that way to Hexham. So we're going to go and have a look around Hexham and um, we'll be able to see the old jail and um, we'll see the abbey. Just up there. Just walking past the old jail in Hexham. You can go and visit it. Um, so it's a museum you can go and explore. I haven't got time to do it today, but maybe another day come back and see that. Now there's another quite interesting building just here in front of me. It's not the abbey. It looks like um, possibly the gatehouse into the town. I'm not entirely sure because um, as I said I've only just arrived here and um, realised I had this hour to have a look around. It's certainly a very impressive building. So we're here, we're through here and I'm thinking when we get through here we come to the marketplace and uh, we should, yes I can see it in front of us, there is Hexham Abbey over there, it's the moat hall, so yes it is a, it's a gatehouse, so and then that's the jail that we just walked past, we've just come along there, we're just about to come out of this archway here into the centre of Hexham, so this would have been the old farmer's market just here, that's Hexham Abbey, so I'm going to go and have a closer look. 
here we are inside Hexham Abbey. It's a really beautiful, impressive abbey church for you know quite a small town. So um, you know it would have been an abbey. It's um, now become the parish church, oh, but a very large church. It's it's bigger than some cathedrals I've been in. So I'm really impressed. You come to the crossing here. Just look at that. It's probably hard to convey from watching videos how vast and big this space is. But I think it's amazing. Haven't been to an abbey, ruined or standing, this year I think. So it's really nice to come to such a beautiful, large abbey. It's um, yeah, very, very attractive, large building. Um, so I'll go around this way. That's where the, uh, the choir is from here. And then, as I said, I'm going to have to run back down to the car park and get in the car. This was meant to be my lunch stop. Quickly ate the sandwich outside Waitrose and then explored Hexham. So this is where the choir sit. There you have the high altar. So, yeah, very, um, very impressive building. Um, always enjoy visiting a church or cathedral or an abbey with or without a roof on them. I mean, there's so many ruined abbeys and they are impressive as they are, but to find one like this with the roof on just gives you a bit of an idea what they would have been like, all the other abbeys in their heyday. So, I'm going to go outside, show you a few things of the abbey from the outside, and then back down to Tesco's car park. So here we are back outside. This would have been the Abbey Cloisters. Came out through this modern bit here where they built a covered in way, but they've built it in the style of the Abbey, so it's still related to the architecture. So imagine this, this was a cloister, this is where the monks would exercise. There probably would have been more monastic buildings there, as you can sort of tell by the little, you know, just like there was an arch there. There was possibly, but there certainly would have been various other buildings. I'm going to go through here. This is showing it says it's where there's a cafe. There was also an exhibition which you can visit here. So if you do come here and you've got a bit more time than I have, then um, that exhibition is probably very much worth visiting. Um, but I haven't got time to do that today. So I'm just taking you around the abbey, um, go through this gate into this park. So there's um, quite a nice park here out the back of the abbey in Hexham. If I had a little bit longer I'd have a walk around there but the thing I wanted to show you is just around here. There's one more part of the Abbey I'm particularly interested in and uh, want to show you. I'll just come around the other side of the Abbey now. So the Abbey Park where I was a moment ago is down there. It's this building down here. It looks like this was once the gatehouse to the Abbey so it's um, sort of ruined but it's preserved for us to see so we're going to go and have a look at that. And then, as I said, I have to make my way back to Tesco's car park. So the Abbey is just hiding behind those trees there. And we have this gatehouse, which I really quite like. It's impressive. So there'd have probably been, looking at the arches, a vaulted ceiling in here once. And this would have been one of the main gates. Or if we actually look at the roadside, Calgarth. So, yeah, this would have been the gatehouse into the Abbey. And um, that's the town centre. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find my way back to the car. I hope you enjoyed this whistle stop tour of Hexham. Thank you very much for watching. You know, if you're up this way, maybe you're in holiday in Newcastle, why not get the train to Hexham? Do come visit. It's a really, really nice town. And um, hopefully you'll have a bit more time than I have to really explore. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from just outside Hexham Abbey, goodbye.